pair who are the number one seeds in the individual competition, Pearlie Tan and Tina Muralitharan. Currently number 11 in the world rankings. They have been one place higher. And they have been having a great year so far. Good consistency, three semi-finals at major world tour events. So their opponents, the Malaysians, the All England semi-finalists, Theresa Jolly and Gaia Three, Gopichand Tulala. Well, this will be just a second meeting between these two pairs. Uh, Only previous occasion won by the Malaysians. The toss of the coin. Conducted by uh, Ampar. It is a tail. So India have won the toss. Uh, and they have chosen to either serve or receive, allowing the Malaysians to choose ends. Well, this a very young Indian women's doubles pair caused an absolute sensation at the All England Championships earlier this year, reached the semi-final when they'd been promoted from the reserve list. They only got into the tournament because somebody had to withdraw. It's quite extraordinary. Well, as we look at them, on the right is Gayatri Gopachant and this is Teresa Jolly. Are both of them just teenagers? Both of them 19 years of age, jolly born in Kerala. And they have gone up one place in the world ranking earlier today to 38. They have been four places higher. Uh, but they only formed their partnership last year. And last year they only played four tournaments. But already this year they've won the Odisha 100 events and beaten in the final of the Said Modi and as I say quarter of the semi-final of the All England. Gayatri Gopachan Tulela, born in Hyderabad and the daughter of Tulela Gopachan and Lakshmi, both former international players. In fact her father, Tulela Gopachan, All England men's singles champion. So to the uh, number one seeds in the individual event, the Malaysian pair of Pearlie Tan and Tina Muralitharan. There's Tina Muralitharan, she's 24 years of age from Selangor. And she's a former very competent singles player because she was the 2017 National Women's Singles Champion. Uh, but has concentrated on her women's doubles for some time now. She formed her partnership with Pearlie Tan, who's 24, so two years younger than her partner, at the Malaysian International Series event three years ago. Five finals for the Malaysians, winning four titles, uh, but one World Tour title, that was the Swiss Open last year. That was a Super 300 event. The fourth match this evening there and is Gayatri Gopachand. The only time they met previously was in the first round of the recent Malaysian Masters 500 event. Malaysians won 21-14, 21-14. And the Malaysian pair actually went on to reach the semi-final of their home event. A beating in the quarter-final, Rahayu, the Olympic champion, with her new partner, Ramadanti. So we're just about ready. The umpire for this one is Andre van der Merwe from South Africa. Service judge, Lakhria Edorasinga from Sri Lanka. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Malaysia, represented by Pearlie Tan and Tina Muraliteran. And 
on my left, India, represented by Gariachi Chopilan Kulela and Teresa Jolly. Malaysia to serve, Tina Miramitaran to Teresa Jolly, Lovell, play. So the women's doubles gets underway the fourth match of this mixed team competition final the gold medal at stake Malaysia 2-1 up in the overall tie this is obviously a must win situation for India well they cause it's a sensation at the All England Championships the young Indian, Indian pair that's going to go long But, Chris, I know you and I have been very impressed with this Malaysian pair, Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan, with their consistency on reaching semi-finals and quarter-finals earlier this year at major events. They really have stepped up, I think, this year, 2022. Yeah, I think they've shown previously they had so much potential, and now, you know, they're really delivering, and they are such an exciting pair. I think they're quite unique in the way they play and they are very exciting to watch the variation that they have and they work so well together totally agree with that I love the way the Malaysians play I also think that Pearly Tan is uh, the creative one of the partnership especially at the back the variation she has from the back is it's really impressive you know she's not just going out there and hitting the, the obvious simple shot she's not just only using power and this is why i think you know she's so dangerous from the back Play. this is the first commonwealth games for all four players on court oh my goodness look at that return of serve look at the skill yeah there we go I said she was creative right from the onset of the rally the top spin return of serve played with disguise and then that backhand followed by a backhand defensive shot driven across court and I do feel she can play like that because Malaysia took that took that last game and now worst case scenario they lose worst case it's not the ties over Whereas for me, India now, so much pressure on these young girls' shoulders. Yeah, two 19-year-olds. Line touch signal. Okay. India challenges Paul. Yeah, I, I think that's good umpiring because there was confusion as to what the line judge has signaled. The signal had been that it was out. And indeed it was out. But because of the confusion, I so it wasn't an immediate challenge. I think that's very nice umpiring. I like that. It. But Jolly has got a very good smash. We saw that in the All England Championships when in the quarter final stage they beat the World Championship silver medalists. You don't go by beating World Championship silver medalists unless you're pretty good. I actually did coach against uh, the Indian girls at the very end of last year and I saw how kind of unique and you know dangerous they can be and as you say jolly she has got a big smash i think that was in the final of the welsh open was it not jill nothing gets past you does it <laughs> there's no point in me even trying trying to trick you on anything service over three six yeah well left It's going wide. Oof, my goodness, she took it. There, yeah, good pressure from Gopi Chand. Four, six. 
and Gopachanova at the net, she is so dangerous. She reads the game well, and she, she knows that if she can get the lift for her partner, and, they, and they've got the attack, this is the only way that they can win this match. It's that move there from Gobachan, how she steps in, steps in to get the lift. She's the net player. She's the one that has to be taking it early to be getting the lift for her partner. She was there, completely this time, that defensive shot. It's a thing, the legs just didn't quite go. Could it be the tension? She's a bit nervous. Also, fantastic deception on the drop. Yeah, no doubt about that. Now, I think both of these pairs, Chris, have got her. A favourite formation, and I think with the Malaysians, I think it's with Tina Moralitharan going forward to the net, and with the Indian pair, I think it's with uh, Gautichand at the front of the court. Definitely, when both pairs are that way round, for me, they're very dangerous. I wouldn't say the other way round, they're not, but that's definitely their pref their preferred setup. Yeah. Just like that, that interception seven, seven, from Tina Mora Litteran. The big thing for me, for the Indian girls, is if they're spending long durations of this game on, on defence, I don't think they're going to be consistent enough to be able to, to, to survive the attack from the Malaysian girls. a pity from a Malaysian perspective because they were doing everything right in that rally with their attacking play I would agree I say they had you know they had control of the point I'd say India did very well to almost survive and keep going because the pressure that they were getting put under oh dear somebody's sleepy well the only one who is sleepy watching this final tie Good smash for another little run. Even there on the return, going back to what you said, Jill, with the skill level that she has. If you watch this hold push, literally it's a last second full power push. So it's the deception that means the lift's short. Ooh. Yeah, both the Indian players going for that shot, and I think they sort of disturbed each other. Hence the error. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done from Jolly. Great cut out there from Jolly. And you can see after every point, the, the noise and the celebration from her, this match is everything. It's a great fighting spirit that she's got. Now yeah, it was a good flick serve. Yeah, a little fortunate so there. Tina Muller and Litharan. Yeah, backhand kill. Hit the top of the net and bounced over. But 11 8 the lead in favour so of Malaysia here Malaysia in this women's doubles at the mid-game interval. 
A reminder that starting tomorrow, the individual and doubles events begin. We start with yeah, the round of 64 tomorrow morning. Raised hand. Tickets for some Sign sessions apology. are still available via the website. That's tickets.birmingham2022.com. Oh, seconds. actually sat there for a while. 20 seconds. I do think it's very interesting the way that the Malaysians do the team talk. One coach for each player, it seems. Um, and it's it's very different from some other nations where, let's say, they'll do it together. It appeared then it was one coach directing their information at just one player. Yeah, it's very much a traditional Asian way of coaching, isn't it? Here In Europe, we find that a bit alien. We have one coach talking to both players, so everybody... Uh, in the partnership, or everybody's on the same page, but how can we possibly Seven argue in with their coaching? Because uh, the Asian nations and both these nations on court, Malaysia and India, powerhouses in the world of badminton, so far be it for us to criticize or make a comment about the way they coach, it's obviously working. And that's the thing, I think the key is whatever works for the players. If the players, are, you know, that's working for them, carry on doing it. If they're not, if they don't like it, change it. I think the integral part is just finding out what the players, you know, what they, what they enjoy or what they prefer. And what do they respond to? That's a nice block. What a good rally. It's going wide. Yep. And look at the delights for Mura Litharan. Nine. There's some rackets that have been restrung, brought onto courts by one of the assistant referees. Quick. Uh, the Malaysian team obviously have gone through a few rackets because I'm not sure how many they've had restrung but if they're running out of rackets Play. they're needing more brought courtside they've already broken quite a few oh, it's landed in service over 10 12 defensive shot 12. fantastic defense there I'd say from Malaysia's attack a little bit predictable to rackets but you've got to say there from from Gobachan incredible defense moved the shuttle around so well stepped in put it in the corner oh good return of serve It's interesting to me, Chris, the fact that neither of these women's doubles pairs have played since the last of their group matches uh, because they were both, pairs were selected for both the quarter-final and the semi-final, their respective ties, uh, but they weren't contested because the tie was already decided before they got to the women's doubles. But I have to say, the level of play so far, you wouldn't believe that they haven't played for two days. Looking very sharp. That's a pity. She appeared to have been in control. And that's where, for me, the, the Malaysian defence, I just feel it's going to be a bit more consistent throughout the match than the, the, the girls from India. And I think that comes down to experience, and I do think it comes down to just the level. The level from the Malaysia, for me, is just that little bit higher. an amazing shot. String's gone, is it? Yeah. yeah. 
12-14. Well, somebody will be running off with that racket. Isn't it more restrung? No wonder they had some rackets brought on a moment ago. Yeah, she's just standing at the front of the court, Pearly Tan, because her, her racket is gone. That's good awareness from the Indian players to play it back to her because her chances of controlling any shot were fairly slim. Magnificent defence from Pearly Tan. Once, once again, when she's in, they're in so much trouble there, the Malaysians, but their defence. Just keep pushing it back, keep keeping it close to the tape, and it's so hard to kill it. Although, although the Indians are in a good position, it's so hard to finish the rally in that position. the Indian pair's favoured formation with Jolly using her power from the back of the court uh, Shwini Ponapa due to play the fifth and final match of the tie the mixed doubles with Ranky Reddy well she's trying to warm up and keep an eye on what's happening here all at the same time yeah it's horrible because you're trying to focus on your own warm up but you can't not watch because you, you know, you want to know what's going on, you want to know how they're playing, and it's obviously so exciting to, uh, to see the level that's on show. Oh, that is a moment of magic 16, from Pearly Tan. 13. For me, that, that, this is just the difference. She's in a good position, look at that. Where on earth does that come from? The skill to be able to play that is extraordinary. Yeah, then the drop shot. He said she got good disguise and good skill from the back of the court. And we're seeing the full repertoire here today. Yeah, well, yeah, Pearly Tan is, is looking good out there. The, as you say, crikey, the skill level. Almost almost every shot she's playing, the, the skill involved. And look at that. Yeah, because she's leaping backwards. She's opening her shoulders, the whole preparation as if she's going to play the power smash and then just checks that racket head at the last moment to play the drop and that takes good skill. And the big thing is as well, as you said, she's off balance. To do that on balance is difficult. To do it off balance is so difficult. Brilliant net shot from Jolly. Service over. Yeah, great skill from Jolly there. She predicted, predicted it was going to be another net shot. Took it early. Great touch. Net corner. It's so hard to lift that away. Even the return there, the skill from, from Pearly Tan to hold it and just, just keep it straight. Oh, well taken. Oh, well, they're challenging. I think they might Malaysia be. Malaysia challengers called in. I think they might have a point there. Right. 
think they might just win that challenge. It was awfully close, I know that. Oh, it caught the line. Good call, line judge. Gosh, the line judging has been good, isn't it? Very good, very, very good. And fantastic at the net there from Jolly. So sharp on that. Look at that. That's brilliant, isn't it? Oof, yes. I can see that now. Definitely. Wonderful shot. Yeah. Good interception this time from Gopichand. That was an incredible interception from Gopichand. She almost had no right to be able to get it. She's on the front line having a full drive here. Here we go. She was amazing to get that. She made the move and rack it up and she was ready for it. skill on the return of serve once again yeah and she's got the power as well 19 great placement too two points away from the opening game early town and Tina Muro Littleman Yeah. Well played by Teresa Jolly. 19. Nerves are going to play a big part in this. I feel like although oh the, my goodness, the agony. Although the score is obviously so close, it felt like Malaysia kind of were in control, and then all of a sudden, you, you know, it's almost back level. And this, this, as you said, Joe, this is such a big point. for the interception Gayatri Kotechan Pulala and his game point opportunities for Malaysia two of them to be precise That's gone long. Opening game to Malaysia. And Pearly Tan and Tina Buralaturan. 21-18 confirms our rampart. What a good opening game. 24 minutes for game number one. And Malaysia one game away from regaining the mixed team competition title at the Commonwealth Games. Three-time former champions in 2006, 2010 and 2014. No twice been beaten in the final as well.
difference. Second game, Lobo, play. So Malaysia in the form of Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan. One game to the good against Jolly and Pulela. This women's doubles, fourth match of the tie. You remember, Malaysia 2-1 up overall. They only need one more match to regain their gold medal. Three-time former champions against the defending champions, India. Was a lovely idea. Why the cross court four. block, Jolly? Yeah, she's missed that when you look at her body weight going backwards and she's taking it so close to her body. She's got to take that in front to make that shot. Two, one. Really, really good there from Tina, the way she stepped in, went over, and then the Indians are in trouble. And then from there, great placement on the attack. Really good pressure. Service over. And Two, so jolly. All. Great work. Oh my goodness. Don't believe it. Brilliant. Well, what an extraordinary rally. Well, several times, Chris, I didn't think the shuttle was going to come back. How on earth did the Malaysians keep themselves in the rally for so long? Look at that defence, and again. Definitely rally of the match for me, wow. Great rally, as you say, it was like back and forth. The Malaysians did incredible, incredible to stay in the rally. And in there, she's just left the gap down the line. She's got to commit to her forehand to cover the space. What a shot. Do you know, I have a feeling she hit that with a backhand grip, didn't she? Forehand drive, cross court with a backhand grip. Let's have another look. She did too. Yep, this was actually one of my favourite shots to play. Yeah, that's right, it was too. My goodness. Did you teach her that one? Oh, I wish I did. <laughs> Perfect serve there, I think almost neck cord line. Positive on the fence. Four. Oh. Three. Look at that. I think these last few rallies are just starting to see from the Indians something 
their level has just gone up. They're, they're, I just, I don't know, I can feel something almost feels like they've changed. Like a little bit of belief is starting to grow. The, the way they've played, obviously not the rally where she left the serve, but the other two rallies, the long rallies, the Indian girls have played incredible, incredible rallies. Goodness, that is sharp. Service over. Five. There was no four. loop on that shot at all. Little crisp downward shot. Look at that. Service over. Nice change of pace, wasn't Five. it? Yeah, and she's just waiting for that. She's, as you say, there's a change of pace. It's probably, I don't know, 80% power. So it does slow up before it gets her. And she's just waiting for it there. She just, her body weight, she's got to step in. When someone's hitting a cut or slightly less pace, you've got to make a forward movement because the shuttle dies before it gets to you. Oh, that's amazing. That is a phenomenal so angle. Over. Six. How on earth did she play that? This is the thing, when you're hitting the cross smash, the space you have, the gap you have to hit that shot is literally like, you know, threading a needle. And she's found that. It, you're talking two inches the other side and it's out. Two inches the other side and it's almost on her racket. It's landing just wide. They've challenged. I saw that as just out. Oh, goodness me. Thank goodness for the instant review. What did you think, Chris? I thought it was just wide. Oh, challenge yeah. Unsuccessful. Correct again, Jill. One challenge remaining. Seven, five, play. Yeah, good call, line judge. two-point cushion for the Malaysians. Oh, that's well wide. Indian pair need to be awfully careful right Eight, now five, because whilst you were talking about there was some momentum with the Indians a little earlier in this second game, now I feel the momentum is back with the Malaysian pair. Oh, well caught. Umpire. Yeah, he's getting a little cheer. Yeah, very well caught. Yes. How's that? Service over six eight. E even a little smile there from the umpire. Oh, now who's got that medal? Well, that's a powerful smash. Yeah, brilliant. And the power from Jolly. Seven, setting up her partner, eight. Pulela, at the front of the court. Thank you. Can just show her? And I think she may have grazed her finger slightly with the dive there. Thank you. Is it good? Yeah, a bit of a grimace. But look at the effort. One point in it. a good defence. Brilliant. Wonderful rally. And we're back level. Eight, the end of that rally for me, that's where Pearly Tan just got a little bit too close. She's chased in a little bit too far when her partner's got pulled out here. So the partner's got pulled out. 
and then she's too close. She's chasing just, we're talking probably a step, step and a half, just too close. If she's slightly further back, she's got that. And look at Shirai Shetty, urging his teammates on. She almost seemed to play that drop Nine, shot in slow motion. Eight. Early turn. And the first thing you see after that rally is the smile from her, and that's because the only way you can play that shot is if you are relaxed, and she is a very relaxed, skillful, creative player. Ten. Did she get that back? Tina Moralitharan. That was extraordinary. And so with the score at Malaysia 11, India 8, we have a one-minute Take a look at this defensive shot. That was a brilliant serve to start with. How on earth did she play that? Yeah, she didn't just get it back, she got it back with interest. And the three-point advantage at the mid-game interval was with the Malaysians. Ten points needed for the gold medal for Malaysia. But this is far too close to sort of uh, think that it's a simple 10 points. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes to three games. 11, Big thing for me there on that rally is you can't switch off for a second. Not even a fraction. For me, uh, Gopichan thought she'd won the rally, switched off, and then all of a sudden the shuttle came back. And then she loses the rally. You've got to stay switched on the full point. That's right. Now this is where... India, they can't afford any more easy points because if this gap grows, the tension's going to build for India and then I think they're going to almost start thinking too much about the score, too much about being 2-1 down in the tie. And I think the other significant thing here, Chris, is the fact that this is five straight points. It was eight all a moment ago, wasn't it? Five points, and all of a sudden, it's all looking very much in Malaysia's favour. Yeah, they definitely, uh, definitely got to do something to to stop this, stop this big run. There was an opportunity there for Jolly. And she failed to convert. Oh, Tina Muralitharan way out of position in a deep forehand corner. And this so is six straight points. Yeah, and to be honest with you, I'd go as far as to say th maybe three of those. India are making easy mistakes or they're switching off. That was just brilliance from Laura Litheran. If we just go back to that point where it was 10-8, it was 10-8 and it felt like the rally was over. And then from nowhere, Tina got the shuttle back to make it 11-8. But you flip it around, it's 10-9. And since then, it just seems that Malaysia have grown and India have, you know, felt maybe they should have won that point. They're focusing on it. And it just feels like it's now just slipping away from the Indians. Oh, service error there Service from Pearly Tan. I think that's the first service 
error of the entire match. Now it caught the top of the tape. And that deflection slowed the shuttle enough to make it land out. Good neck shot. Another excellent rally. Oh, that's a pity. The drop shot from Jolly into the bottom of the net. And this is looking like a dire situation for India. And a very, very promising situation for Malaysia. And to me, that rally almost sums it up. The Indians played great looked fantastic and then they're just trying to do something almost magical and it ends up with the stop drop going in the bottom of the net well, I think the nerves are maybe jangling with all of them understandably I definitely agree because the majority of these rallies at the moment are almost finishing with an unforced error rather than you know with a winner or with pressure I feel like it's all got a little bit tense maybe the Malaysians can see the finish line maybe the Indians are starting to think that the whole weight of India is on their shoulders yeah That's a lovely shot. Short. Yeah, got what it deserved. There was good pressure play from Pearly Tan. And then the backhand cross court neck shot from Tina Moro Litharan. Really did the damage. This one, look at that. Short lift. And a relatively simple kill for Pearly Tan. 17-10. wasn't a million miles away you know. well it's now or never I think for the Indian combination they desperately desperately need a little run of points right now <laughs> it's just wide 17. That's a good serve. Yeah, clever. Smash down the centre of the court in between 13, the two Malaysians. 17. Then the smash from Tulela across Pearly Tan. Yeah, she does that so it's often, that crouch defence. Pearly's just holding her ankle there. I hope she's OK. But for me there, it was the discipline from Pearly. She played the wrong shot. And it put them in a lot of trouble after that she then had to crouch oh no is she okay no she's not okay this is very concerning her left ankle is already heavily strapped but she appears to have hurt her right ankle Dr Ashwin Patel on duty once more he's telling her to take off her shoe so he can get some spray to the right area oh, 
I think that's Dr. Ashwin Patel, isn't it? The only person that might know is you, Jill. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, no, I didn't like that. It was on the crouch defence. Ankle went right over, Chris. Right ankle, look at it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that right. looked nasty. I hope she's all right. No, she's going to carry on. I can assure you of that. She's a tough cookie. Delightful character. That she will not give up, I can tell you. I think she'll have to be carried off court before she'd give up. 13, 17, play. What a great interception from Gaia Tree. That's wonderful. Amazing interception, but for me, it's the wrong shot. Now, what's, what is, look at this. And then she's crouching. She knows it's the wrong shot. Is, is she starting to think about her ankle? Is it maybe, it is obviously quite, um, quite painful. Thank you. Well, yeah, I agree with you, Chris. The umpire getting a little bit uh, concerned about the amount of time that's been wasted in between rallies. That's good umpiring. In between the two Indian players once more, both Jolly and Pulela going for the defensive shot. Oh, challenge that, yes. That was mighty close. I think that might have clipped the line. All the Malaysian players here, like, crouching to try and see the screen. Yeah, we've got screens that the spectators can see, but the players can't see it. Oh, no, it's just wide. What a great call by the line judge. My goodness, they've been sharp today, these line judges. Service over, 15-18. I think this is the least challenges overall in this tournament I've ever seen, as in, that are correct, as in the line judges have done amazing. That is perfection from Jolly. 16, 18. Great skill. Now I remember when they reached the All England semi final, they came from behind in some of their matches. Who do not write off Jolly and Pulela just yet. in it. And ever since that slight injury timeout for Pearly Tan, Malaysians have been slightly hesitant. Ball. Two points away from the gold medal. Malaysia with a two-point advantage. 
This is such a big point. I can even feel that the way I'm holding this mic with so much tension in my hand, I can feel the, the, the atmosphere in here is just incredible. The error on the return of serve. And it is gold medal points for Malaysia. Three gold medal points for the three-time former champions, Malaysia. Malaysian teammates rush on to court to embrace Pearly Tan and Tina Mora Litharan. 21-18, 21-17. And Malaysia are the gold medalists once again in the mixed team competition here at the Commonwealth Games. Well, spare a thought for the teenagers from India, Jolly and Pulela. They gave it their all. They played so well. They fought hard. And it takes two pairs to make a great match. A massive congratulations to both teams. What an amazing, amazing tie they put on for the crowd and everyone here. It was an actual honor to, to be able to commentate on that because that really was incredible. 52 minutes, that women's doubles for the 21-18, 21-17 victory. Well, there's masses of Malaysian fans and journalists and teammates in front of us and every single one of them is on their feet. In fact, most of the fans here in this arena are on their feet. Yeah, I'm just turning the flag round the right way. Yeah. Well, four years ago, in the Gold Coast in Australia, India beat Malaysia by the margin of 3-1. The result is reversed here in Birmingham. Malaysia beat India by that same scoreline. Jing, who had prepared to play the last match, the mixed doubles, and she wasn't required. You play so well, so, so well. How much does it mean to win silver tonight? Confirmation of the scoreline Pearly Tan and Tina Mora Litharan beat Pulela and Jolly. 21 18, 21 17 in a match lasting 52 minutes. Well, draped in the Malaysian flag. This was the final rally. The match point opportunity. They converted on their first match point. Malaysia with that beautiful block from Tina Moralitharan hit the top of the tape and went over well look at that my goodness well heartache for India delight for Malaysia and the biggest smile in the house from Pearly Town Look at the joy. Badminton, the biggest sport in 
Malaysia. Well, the celebrations of the Malaysian fans will go long into the night here in Birmingham. Look at the, the joy as Malaysia delivers. 3-1, the final tie uh, with uh, the men's doubles starting off first and it was the Olympic bronze medalist Aaron Chiar and so we eke who beat.